it's not just about water surging over the top of riverside barriers, but water seeping up through the ground from below. The city saw it during Superstorm Sandy. We had water coming up through uh, sewers and, and drainage as well. To try to prevent that again, the city is building a seawall that goes 100 feet underground. It runs more than three miles, and when completed, it will go from East 25th Street down to Montgomery Street. We got a tour of construction underway on Monday. $1.4 billion resiliency project, one of the largest resiliency projects going on literally in the country. We were told the project is now 40% complete. At the northern part, the seawall juts up about 10 feet above ground. And downtown by the Williamsburg Bridge, it will stick up about 2 feet. That's because the entire East River Park is also being raised about 9 feet. The Esplanade is actually over the East River on pilings um, and will eventually have uh, pavers and planters and be a great place for people to uh, walk and, and bike ride. It's not just flood walls. It includes a bunch of things the community wants to see. It would have been very easy for us, uh, which what they're doing in some portions of Europe, to build a wall around lower Manhattan. Uh, but that's not who we are. Ole, who has lived nearby since the 1970s, says he can't wait for the project to be done. Sandy, water came all the way to Houston and Columbia, where I live, Masaryk Towers. So this is a good thing.